Corruption has been termed as one of the biggest impediments to development in the country and a serious obstacle to the realization of the Big Four agenda. Globally, Kenya is ranked 143 out of 180 in the World Corruption Index by Transparency International. And the private sector has been apportioned as the largest share of blame in contributing to corruption. The University of Nairobi is set to conduct research and develop strategies that promote ethical and legal business practices. We are coming together with uh, academia to see what role can they play to curb corruption in terms of research, providing relevant information, what role can the judiciary play, what role can the investigators play, what role can the prosecutors play, because we realize the corruption uh, menace it needs a joint effort. We can no longer be silent. The research will touch on public procurement, enforcement and compliance on anti-corruption requirements in the private sector, as well as highlight the impact of corruption on social and economic growth of the manufacturing sector. A lot of research on how to combat corruption. We are doing research touching on areas of public procurement. We are doing research touching on areas of tax and development. Research touching on areas of public-private partnership. And we know that all that can be slowed down by corruption because once we entra the corruption becomes entrenched, corruption actually scares away the investors. Lady Justice Hedwig Ogudi says while Kenya has a sufficient legislation in place to fight corruption, the implementation process is insufficient. As a nation, we have sufficient legislation to curb corruption. It all depends on us to implement what is there. Enactment of new legislation may not help us because what we have is sufficient. It's only the implementation that has not been there. Full implementation has not been there. The research that we do is to monitor and to track the number of convictions that are coming from the courts in terms of disqualification of the people who are running companies. And so far, as I've said, from 2015 to now, we have not come across even one. So it means that we have the registration, and what we need now is to enforce and make sure that registration is being implemented to stop people from running companies when they are corrupt. The academia will also play a key role in supporting the industry through capacity building and training on matters pertaining good governance systems, quality assurance measures, establishment of monitoring and evaluation systems.